So in this video, I'm gonna show you a relatively hidden report in Google Ads that is probably the report that I look at the most often and you probably rarely look at it or never look at it because it's hidden and a lot of people just don't know about it. I actually thought to make this video recently when I was on the phone with a Google strategist and I showed them this report and they actually came back to it and asked me like, how did you find that report? Because apparently they didn't know how to find it or that it even existed. So the report that I'm referring to is the phone details report or call details report. If you have heard of this, stick with me for this short video because I'll probably reveal a few things about this report that maybe you haven't thought of yet. In order to find this report, you can click on reports at the top, go to predefined reports, it's under assets legacy, which makes me wonder if this report might go away at some point in the future, hopefully not. I, I hope they just revise it and then go to call details, which will take you to this report. So this report um, shows you all the phone calls in Google ads and phone calls is an actual metric in Google ads. If I was to go to the campaign view for this campaign, you'll notice and you may notice in your own account that there's a column called phone calls. So this measures all the phone calls that occur in your account. This would have to be tracked phone calls. So if we jump over to conversions, this would be calls from ads. So these are calls directly from the ads, like someone clicking, click the call. It could also be calls from the website that are running through a Google forwarding number. So you would have to set up these conversion actions in order for this report to actually tabulate this data. Before we look at the report itself, let me just jump back again to the campaigns view and show you that there's 36 phone calls in the last 30 days. So those phone calls, the data for those will show up in this report. And then I wanna make the distinction between phone calls and conversions. You'll notice there's 36 phone calls and in the same time frame, there were 19 conversions. And if I go to segment by conversion action, we can see how many of those were actually phone calls. So 13 calls out of the 36 actually counted as conversions. The reason for that can be found in the conversion actions page. So if we click on one of those conversions, you'll see that in the settings, we can count calls as conversions if they are 30 seconds or more. You can enter any number of seconds here. I usually use 30. If you're getting a lot of phone calls, like hundreds or thousands, you, you might want to raise this just so you're counting like kind of the cream of the crop of the phone calls as conversions. I usually use 30 seconds on most accounts. So you'd put this in on calls from ads and calls from website, any phone calls you're tracking, you can add that. I actually have 60 seconds on this one. I'm going to change it to 30 just so we can have more data coming in for conversions. So again, just to recap that, we have phone calls, which is all phone calls, and then conversions is any phone call that is 30 seconds or longer. So if we go into this report, you can kind of see in the first column, we have, well, start time. So that's like the hour and the day that this call occurred. Duration is number of seconds. So you can see like this one would have been a conversion. This one would not, and a bunch of these would not. This one would, this one would. So you could kind of figure out which ones are conversions. The other data that you get in this report is uh, usually the caller phone number, like area code and the full phone number. You can see missed calls. So this is helpful when I'm dealing with my clients just to let them know like, hey, you, you missed three phone calls on March 2nd uh, in the middle of the day. That's good information for them. It's also helpful for me in managing accounts when people say, oh, I'm not getting phone calls. You know, I could say, oh, you missed five in the last seven days. Um, it also tells you the source of the call. So you can see here, this one came directly from the ad. Most of them are coming from the website. So this is people who are going to the website and then seeing the call forwarding number. And then they're either manually dialing it, as you can see in this column here called call type, or they're doing a mobile click to call. So they're going to the website and then they're like clicking a phone number on their cell phone in order to call the number directly. In the last column, you can also see which campaign it came from. You might be able to add other columns in here like ad group or keyword, but I usually just leave it as the default. So I could see, you know, if I have multiple campaigns running, I can see which campaign they came from. So you can get this type of call detail from other tools like CallRail. I've done other videos on CallRail, so I'll link to one of those and you can get more information. If you're running a tool like CallRail, it'll definitely show like duration and the, the keyword that calls actually came from. You can record phone calls and do all kinds of cool 
stuff in there. That's a paid product. So again, I'll link to a video on that. But there's lots of good call tracking in Google Ads. I've definitely done videos on call tracking in Google Ads. So I'll link to some of those uh, in the description as well. But one of the great things about uh, call tracking in Google Ads and this report is this data is free. It's included in Google Ads. Uh, call tracking in Google Ads is free. You just got to do a little bit of setup. This data is really useful, whether you're managing your own account or if you're managing accounts for clients. This is great information to look at. I'm often going in there just to see what kind of results are coming in. Sometimes it's phone calls, but they're not counting as conversions because they're, you know, 12 seconds. So that's important data for me to see as I'm managing the account or for you to see, you know, if you're running your own account. You can also diagnose other issues in here, like if you're getting a lot of disconnected phone calls or phone calls lasting zero seconds or coming from certain numbers out of state, things like that. You can get a lot of uh, data in here that's gonna help you diagnose certain problems. So if you have any questions or comments on this report, definitely comment below. If you found it useful, hit the like button for me. Check out some of my other videos. I've done tons of videos on Google Ads. Uh, and I'll link to one here and we'll see you there.